So hello there friends, this is Harsh here, back with yet another easy tutorial at Robotech. And I have just come up with this new setup of mine. And I have got a new CPU, it's a Dell Precision Workstation 3630. And it has got super configurations, a 32GB RAM, i7 processor, NVIDIA Quadro P2000 5GB graphics card. And it's like super cool. So in today's video we will be discussing about the Raspberry Pi and how to use a and make a FTP server of from the Raspberry Pi using the Raspberry Pi all can say. So FTP server is basically like whatever you connect to the Raspberry Pi for example you have some folder or some files and you all can directly use the it to transfer for example you have connected a hard drive that you want to access for only copy purposes like stuff like that. So you will be directly able to copy from that hard drive onto your local systems using the FTP server and for doing that you just have to mount the hard drive to the specific point that we create during this video. So without wasting time let us get started. I have headlessly booted into my Raspberry Pi using the VNC viewer of course and I will just open up the notepad because it's like a little lengthy process so I'll be using it I'll be using this new feature of Windows 11 that allows us to like uh, arrange the windows so yeah so let us get started we'll directly copy paste the first five commands we of course know what the first two commands do they are used to update the Raspberry Pi to its latest version so I'll just copy and paste all four and hit on enter so they will automatically run one by one and we have to just sit back and relax instead of copy wasting one second and then other so let that things happen so it will be checking everything and then directly open up this uh, configuration file of the server that we are going to use to create the thing the FTP server so after these everything is done uh, we will be directly opening this configuration file we will just be waiting for that as you can see the installation process is going on So yeah, as you can see the configuration thing has opened. Now we have to search for these lines over here and then uncomment them. So let us do that. So as you can see write enable first we have to check. Yeah, so I can see that anonymous enable is already no. So yes, we have to change it, had to change it to no but since it's default no so we needn't do that. So we'll just go ahead. Yeah, we can see here the first thing, write enable yes, we can uncomment this by removing the hashtag symbol. Then after that the next thing is the local you must thing has to be uncommented. So we did that and then we'll search for this thing here. Instead of doing this, we'll use the control W command to find it and we are going to find ch root and hit on enter so yeah we found it so here ch under uh, ch root underscore local underscore user has to be uncommented so we'll just uncomment this line so remember to find in a nano thing you have to use control w so we did that and then in the end the last we have to add these two lines over here so I'll be providing these things in the description so if you all are stuck anywhere you all can use this. So in this end I'll just copy and paste these two lines then we can just control X it will ask to save so enter Y and then enter enter. So that's done we we'll just clear this up and then make a directory so that uh, the that only that directory is accessible through the FTP server because we don't want all the configuration files of the Raspberry Pi to be uh, put over the server. So we will make this folder which is only accessible through the FTP. So you just copy this entire thing, we'll just copy and we'll name the directory. We'll name the directory say we'll name it test and instead of this user we'll have to type in Pi, that's the default user and if you all are installing it on some different user ensure that you all enter your user and hit on enter here so that work is done clear this up and just hit on reboot it's nice to have the thing you know like a restart so it's good 
so we'll just reboot by the time this reboots we will install I will just save this so that you can directly give it to y'all I will just name this thing as uh, what should I name it FTP server there y'all go it's saved on my desktop here I will open up chrome and then we will install the uh, FTP server client y'all can actually directly map the drive over here here by going show more options add a network location but that's not that great i will show you all using both the ftp server client filezilla it's famous or uh, and then mapping the drive i will show you all both the options so i'll just go to chrome go to robotech my thing and then ftp instead of all that typing i'll just type in filezilla i will get the first site the free ftp solution we need the client not the server so we'll download the filezilla client the free one of course you don't need to pay for it yet so just close it by this time it would have installed so you just go vnc and then log in to the raspberry pi let's check now it's working just quit uh, no I have to install just quit chrome quit the file explorer we have some clean thing over here. I'll quit this VNC as well. So this has started. I don't know why FileZilla didn't open. We'll go to downloads now and then run FileZilla. I'll click on yes. But I agree, of course. And then yeah, next. If you all want desktop icon, just make sure you all tick here. I just don't want it. Do not create shortcuts. Uh, I will need one. Install. So let the thing work, it's fast, I will just start it, I just have to ignore, here I have to check the IP address now, so just hover over this Wi-Fi symbol and you will get the IP address as you all can see it's written LAN O configured 192.168.1.6, so remember that here you have to come and the host you have to type in 192.168.1.6 the username of course if you all have used different then ensure that you type in here mine was pi so i'll go ahead then type in your raspberry pi's password whatever you all have kept and i did some mistake i'll have to type again yeah that's done port is 21 you all, if you all don't type it's okay click on quick connect uh, yeah you all can save the password if you all want and always allow now it's saying that the server is insecure of course because we have created it so filezilla doesn't trust it so uh, just click on always allow insert uh, insecure and click on ok so it's some permission issue and we have to resolve it so let's see what we can do yeah so i found out it was some permission issue so you just have to run this new command i have copied it and as well as added it to the notepad file so you all will get that so make sure you all run this command and instead of user make sure you all enter uh, pi or whatever your user was so now I don't think will the error will persist. So let's check. I'll just uh, add this first. Yeah, I'll add it here. Control V. Okay, it's not getting pasted. I don't know why. So I'll just add it later. Don't worry. I don't save. And let's try again. Yeah. So as you all can see, it was some permission issue. We have resolved it. And under test, there is nothing. If we go here, we go to uh, the test folder from the this thing go to ftp we will go to test and here we will create a new file just to test as you can see new here if we go to test now to just refresh just refresh as you can see we have got new you can directly drag it and then paste anywhere you all want so i can just go here and paste it on this desktop so file transfer successfully as you all can see i'll just uh, remove the vnc as you can see i got this new file directly as well as if you all want to transfer something from your desktop to the raspberry pi you all can do that i'll just check i'll show you all i'll go here uh, there is no data as such that i can show you all we'll do one thing we'll just copy this notepad file from the desktop I'll go here to desktop as you all can see here i have this ftp server text file drag it and paste it over as you can see it was successfully transferred now if i go to here as you can see i've got the ftp server text file on the raspberry pi 
So yeah, we have successfully created the uh, OPA FTP server. I just quit the VNC thing. You all can use FileZilla as you all sh I showed you all. Or I also told you about mapping the network type. So if you all have Windows 11, just open up your file explorer. Uh, right click, go to show more options. If on Windows 10, directly right click, you will get an option saying add a network location. Click on that, click on next. Choose a custom network location you have to select. Go to next and then type in ftp colon slash slash 192.168.1.6 and click on next log on not anonymously you will need the username that is pi so make sure you all untick this and type in the username that is pi or whatever it was you all can name it anything i will just say ftp server i click on next so yeah once i do this now the thing should open up as you all saw now it will ask me for the password of course so i'll type in the password i can use to save the password and log on so as you all can see i got the test folder and here i have my files as, as i showed you all before also you all can directly select go here and uh, paste why i'm not getting the paste yeah so here it is so paste you directly got it here you can delete you all want to transfer something so control c it over here go to network locations no not here my bad you have mapped the drive so ftp server you all go you go to test then you all can directly paste it here as well so it's like a two-way thing you are accessing the ftp server from one end and the other end so basically we have successfully created a ftp server so yeah my laptops charging got over it was basically recording the webcam was recording me so the charging has got over so I won't be visible to y'all I'll just have to tell you a few things so don't worry not a big issue so the few things were that now if you want to access the FTP server outside your home network for example you have a Raspberry Pi running at your home you have connected a hard drive to it but you don't want to access it on your home network supposedly you are sitting at some office and from there you want to access the hard drive so do not use the port forwarding option because uh, opening the 21 port to the internet is very dangerous because people can directly hack into your systems so do not do that mistake instead I have created a video on how to set up a VPN server on the Raspberry Pi so start a FTP server as well as a VPN server on the Raspberry Pi itself then use your this PC only uh, PC whichever PC you want to access the FTP server use that and connect to the VPN then what will happen is that your laptop or desktop will be rerouting all your requests through your home network wherever you are in the world so what will happen is that after that you all can easily access the FTP server because for your system it it feels as if it's at home only because uh, you have used the VPN so there is no risk here regarding the uh, VPN thing uh, regarding the port forwarding thing so remember I am repeating again do not use the port forwarding option instead create a VPN server on the Raspberry Pi itself. I have a video it will be there in the description as well as the comments. So don't forget to like share subscribe guys and please tell me if you like my videos. Thank you.